it's been about a month since I've been on Lanzarote Island and I need to get things done. So here's my new uh, davier, my bowsprit for my mantis anchor, but I need to get a few uh, extra bolts to fit it. Now, um, it's pretty darn close, but uh, so I'm gonna go to this stainless steel store. You'll see it's a really cool place. It's got everything and it's uh, really affordable. This industrial zone across from the marina has just about everything you need to fix your boat. You have a chip handler store, fishing stores, and here I'm going to Inox Naval. It's a giant uh, stainless steel store and they have a bunch of ship stuff here too. I got the screws I needed to temporarily put the bowsprit in place and test it. That did not work out so well. So I tried again. It went a little better. But now the anchor won't go down. It gets stuck on the furler. That is not good. It will damage it in time. An issue that must be resolved. Then the traction loosened up and the 25 kilo mantis will not come up. Once tightened, it did. It looks like it will work with some modifications. I'll have to wait. Time to do some other kind of sailing. The weather was good for a flight. Jean-Yves got his bird ready. I clamped on my cameras and self to what there was to clamp onto. And we were off. Jean-Yves took me for a little test spin to see how I fared and to prepare me for the ride. I got some ups and downs and my gut got that freaky fucking tingling falling feeling. I must admit, I was a little freaked out. But hey, I made my choice and I have to either enjoy it to the max or live a moment of total terror. I chose to enjoy it. What's the worst that can happen? We crash and die? But it is said that those who are afraid of dying are afraid of living. This is not for everyone. There are moments in life when one must give up total control and trust someone else completely. I trusted Johnny with my life. Trust opens many doors. You can say that about faith, that one must believe, whatever the beliefs are. I'm not particularly religious. That being said, I had to have faith in Jean-Yves. At that moment in time, he was in control, like a god or angel. And on his wings, I saw the light. No, not that chorus of angels kind of light. I saw what you see here. But the sensations are something else. Go ahead, give it a try. Put your life in someone else's control and get really high. climbed above the clouds, and there the air was incredibly warm. Jean-Yves turned to port and headed down through the clouds. There was little engine noise. We glided down through air pockets that felt like moguls on ski slopes. Every once in a while, a jolt of terror breaches your nerve center and projects the oncoming crash. The trick is not to give in to those thoughts. It works, believe me. We were gliding and all is well. We waved hello at jean -Yves wife and granddaughter below. They looked like ants. We must have looked like a little mosquito.
That was so awesome. We were millimeters from the surface, almost surfing. At 65, Jean-Yves is pretty tough. It must have been hard on his arms holding on to his bird. There were air pockets and gusts that bobbled us about. So we flew over vineyards and farms, as well as this road, which reminds me of my varicose veins. We were coming in for the landing, most precarious moment, when we go from the heavens back to terra firma. Can you hear the sigh of relief, blended with a good dose of remaining adrenaline? What a cocktail. What can I say? I've always been a music junkie. Can't keep away from a live gig. I loved these guys. There was something raw yet polished, pure and nasty. Rock and roll. This group reminded me of New Order. I soon found my friend. She came with her cousin, and I hung out with the young ones. If I didn't see my physical self here, I could say I felt just as young. What was cool here is that young and old are having a blast. House of Pain. What else can give such pleasure? I love this DJ drummer combo. My son is a drummer, by the way.
Traveling alone is that you are rarely alone. There is always someone to meet. Jean-Yves took me to see his old friend Nick. They both sailed here from Brittany and never left. As it were, Jean-Michel was also visiting, another sailor who made Lanzarote his home. They all knew each other back in France. <laughs> Mick is now an artist. He creates here in his house in Teguise. It's pretty good and modest, and he's got some good stories. He's the perfect anti-hero for a great French film. Et c'est comme ça que tu as atterri ici Ouais. Et ça fait combien de temps euh, Là, ça fait euh, 30 ans. Quoi. Et je suis arrivé avec le pote à Plaé Kemada. Ah, Où ouais. était Jean-Yves On avait, euh, tu vois, un, un point de. Un point de chute, quoi, en fait. On arrive là-bas, euh, c'était au rhum et tout, à mort. Et tout. <rire> Mais enfin, bon, on était là, à Plaï Kemada, avec le bateau, euh, le mouillage, super. Et bon, ben, j'ai débarqué, quoi. J'ai pris mon sac, la saucisse, euh, je reste là. Oui, oui. Le pote, euh, ouais, il s'est barré et tout, euh, quatre verres, euh, et faire le tour et tout, il a fait le tour du monde, et puis hop, ok. Tout. Mais euh, pour son bateau, je suis resté huit mois quand même. Hein. Pas mal. Avec le capitaine et tout. Alors les histoires de gonfles, un bordel. Ah oui, à bord, et tout. des fois je dormais euh, sur le moyen, toi, la spalmas. Euh, les barques et tout <rire> à l'ombre et tout ah ouais non le dinghy et tout quoi voilà s'il y avait euh, des filles et tout euh, le bordel et là je me suis dit, euh...